Hello, thanks for tuning in. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to do a video here because uh, in a response to a comment that was left by Mr. Harvey Carroll Jr. And uh, this was left on my video about uh, reading construction wall details. And so his question says, let's assume this was a strip center with multiple large windows and doors. So it sounds like He's describing a typical storefront um, building. And he asks, can those walls support the spans of metal decking while providing the firewall separations between units? Or is it typical to have some type of structural steel tube along the front and back connected with long span trusses? Then, uh, this word may be separate. Maybe it's supposed to be separate. Autocorrect probably got him on that. Autocorrect doesn't really work that well. Okay. Then desperate. Uh, okay. So I think I know what he's asking. And thank you, sir, for your comment. Let's um, pull up the drawings. All right. We got the drawings pulled up. And uh, hopefully this will be a quick explanation. So. I wanted to zoom in on an area here that kind of best fits what you were describing. You do have some storefront, like what you were saying, the large, and uh, I'll have to zoom in here. You do have some of that storefront here along the perimeter of the building. You've got a little bit of it there. But uh, you were talking about something fire rating. So I, I went and I looked at the drawings and in this area right here we're gonna look at it in a second but this area right here is like a stairwell you can see the skylight right there but there's a stairwell and so all stairwells are usually protected so that's gonna be an area that has a fire rated wall so uh, to answer your questions we're gonna look at that area there alright so I went ahead and pulled up the code study plan because that's going to show where all the fire rated areas the protected areas are in the building and so um, this is the area we identified right there and so you see here it says there's a two hour fire rating within uh, this area and that area right there so how is this structurally going to uh, hold up and also contain a fire and this is something that you can carry along to whatever whatever scenario uh, you have uh, in, in your own building needs if you've ever looked at steel drawings this is what you have here to answer your first question the steel decking that you can see here indicated with these um, diagonal lines that indicates where the steel decking is and uh, it's resting across these beams these steel beams uh, which are supported by uh, these hollow structural steel columns and these columns here I'll flash a couple of pictures to show what that sort of framing looks like but so that is what actually supports your steel decking now also you can see that there are some walls here and these are CMU walls you can tell by the cross hatches all right we've got some enlarged plans pulled up of the stair area and so you can see the area that we're looking at this is a, a stairwell and again everything within here is protected it's got a two hour rating on it now this may not exactly look like a storefront but the concept will still be the same because we're going to look at the detail of uh, this connection here. Now this detail is actually finishes with gypsum board, but um, this detail pretty much breaks down how you're going to fire stop that area. And you can apply this to a CMU wall too. You just have to take into account, you know, there wouldn't be this assembly here with uh, insulation and studs and all that. All right, so this is basically saying to fill those flutes with a non-combustible fire rated material and this is generally something uh, called mineral wool um, really dense kind of a kind of like a sponge and so you'll stuff that in to get a certain compression in order to get the rating that you need so you do that to every flute in the deck and then you got another note here that talks about an 18 gauge steel plate 
This is a 8 inch long plate that is screwed to the roof deck for securing this runner which is a component of the wall. You're also going to have a backer rod which is, um, I'll just flash what it looks like. You'll have a backer rod and then you'll fire stop, you'll seal that uh, against the backer rod over here and that will be a continuous, a continuous seal throughout the length of the wall. And so a couple of other things are going to help this area be fire rated. Uh, there is a fire rated deflection track. Uh, deflection tracks allow for movement in the building and uh, they have little slots that allow for um, the screws to kind of move vertically. And so that's going to be fire rated. The gypsum board, I imagine, could also have a fire rating as well. But so all of those things will come together to get your uh, rating, your fire rating. So remember there are many components that have to all work together in order to keep a fire out of an area. So uh, all of those things that you saw, the mineral wool, the sealant, uh, the backer rod, even some fire rated material, um, those all go together to make a fire rated assembly. If you're interested in looking more into um, these type of assemblies, go ahead and look up uh, UL ratings. UL stands for Underwriters Laboratories, I believe, but uh, they're the guys that make, uh, that certify all of these ratings. Anyway, thank you for tapping in, and uh, if you have a comment or a question, uh, feel free to leave it, and uh, if I have time, I'll try to answer it in this type of a format, uh, but hopefully this has been short and sweet. Peace out, guys.